Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with the Kid. Before we go any further, if you would take a moment and hit that subscription button. Also hit that bell, that way you'll be notified of any future videos. Today we're going to make strawberry cookies. It's very simple, easy to do, you can even do it. Strawberry cookie recipe using Duncan Hines Strawberry Supreme Cake Mix. So I'll show you what to do, but these are very simple. We've been eating these for years in our family. And where we are, we're not too far from strawberry fields everywhere. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to make the simplest strawberry cookies using Duncan Hines Strawberry Supreme. Stick with us if you will. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Okay, what we're going to need is, as I said, a box of perfectly moist Strawberry Supreme Duncan Hines, some powdered sugar, two eggs, half cup of oil, and maybe a couple of teaspoons of water and that's it. So I'm going to mix the oil, like I said, half a cup of oil, two eggs. I know that's different than what's on the back of the box, but we're going to do something different with it. So like I said, half a cup of vegetable oil, just a little bit of powdered sugar, two eggs, and we're going to mix that together. And I'll show you what to do next. I'm going to add the cake mix. Now my wife makes these all the time. She's the baker in the house. I am not. But I figured for the video, I would make these for you because we've been making them, like I said, for years. They're very simple. Our family loves them. We take them to family functions all the time. And so I'll show you what we do. All right, so as you can tell, we're just gonna mix all this together. And it's gonna be thick, and that's what you want. Like I say, we may have to add a little bit of water to this, just a couple of teaspoons of water if you need it to make it the right consistency. And I've got the oven preheating to 350 degrees. So you want to get all that powder from the cake mix mixed in thoroughly. So I'm going to add just a couple of teaspoons of water. And it's already made it a little bit easier. You don't want it too loose because you're going to be rolling these up by hand. Okay, I've got this handy dandy little scooper here. You can make these cookies as big as you want to. But like I say, I'm going to put them in the powdered sugar. I'm just going to roll them in the powdered sugar. And I've taken a pan and you just put them in, like I said, I've sprayed it down with some non-stick spray. These cookies will spread out, so you want to be careful that you have enough room. I'll try to make some of them a little bit smaller, but yeah, like I said, you just roll them. They're going to spread out. They're going to flatten out. You don't have to flatten them. As they cook, they're going to flatten out. But I'm going to continue to make these, and I'll come and bring you back. All right, I'm making some in a metal pan and some in a glass pan so that you can see the difference how they cook in each pan. Like I said, this is my wife's thing. I'm more the savory food. But the things I do for the subscribers, I wanted you guys to see this. I wanted you to try it. You guys had such good feedback on the muffins that I wanted you to try the cookies. Now you can see by my work area, this powdered sugar makes a mess, but that's all right. It'll clean up. See those cooks on TV stressing everybody else out about their workstation. Hey, a dirty kitchen means somebody's cooking. Now this is a pan we've used a lot of, so you can tell it's brown, but it's got the little circles on it that tell you where to position the different cookies. And then I've got just a regular glass pan with eight more. And I've still got some left. So I'm going to put these in the oven at 350 for about 13 minutes. And I think the ones in the metal pan are going to get a little bit browner on the bottom, but we'll find out together. So stick around. As you can see, they do spread out as they cook, so you want to make sure you leave enough room. We've got about two minutes left, and it'll be 13 minutes. Of course, you want to check them with a toothpick like you normally do baked goods, toothpick or a probe. Make sure they come out clean. 
And another obvious note, the thicker you make the cookies, the longer they're going to take to cook. The ones on the left are just about ready, and the ones on the right are going to take a little bit longer. All right, everybody, there they are. And they are good. And when you break them open, there's the inside. They are delicious. Thanks again for watching Cooking with the Kid. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. Help us grow the channel. And I uh, appreciate you watching. Try these at home. They are very good. Again, I cooked them in a 350 degree oven for about 13 to 15 minutes, depending on the pan that you use. All right, everybody. Again, I appreciate you watching. Hope all of you stay safe. God bless you. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.